hello 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 god bless you god keep you in perfect peace and harmony let his grace and his mercy forever shine on you well i just wanted to say praise report i was gloom doom and despair the other day really all that week but i just want to say yeah god is good all the time i i have learned in my life to stop thinking about me and think about other people and so the last two days i have been taking my baby girl back and forth to look for cars oh my god it was a tedious thing it's high and i have my youngest grandbaby with us and i took her around and praise god she found a car she found a car we look we look we look we call we call we call but praise god she found her a car she's driving she no longer has to carry the baby i mean miles getting off her now on two or three buses carrying my grandson who's two years old back and forth to the babysitter and from work and oh my god it was a lot you know and i just kept in my prayers i just kept praying and hoping that god would provide her with the transportation she needed but i knew it had to be his will and not mine but that was my prayer because i didn't want my grandbaby to be in the rain and the weather's changing and so much violence is going on people snatching purses and all these things so I don't want you to ever think a lot of times when I do seem like I'm gloom despair, I'm still thinking and praying for other people. I do that. I pray and I help other people. You know, I give my last, but if I have to, but I thank God, God, that I, that's why I keep trusting him. That's why I keep, keep in his will. That's why I keep, Ooh, just adoring him because he's good. He's good. He's better than good. You know, what that super commercial say, he's mm-mm good. Yeah, he is, he's mm good. Because people fail to realize it's not about us all the time getting our blessing. God will bless our family. Sometimes us serving God, it blesses our family, our children, our kids, our cousins, our nieces and nephews. My cousin just had a baby. Thank God he was in the hospital and he's home. Those are the blessings that God bestows on us. And I thank God every day for his blessings and mercy. We don't deserve it, but he's good like that. He's good like that. And that's why I keep trusting him. Although he slay me, yet will I trust him because he's blessing somebody else. He's blessing somebody in the family. And I, my daughter just kept looking at me because I know she was like, oh my God, you know, mama's that happy. Yes, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. I'm, I can be happy for other people. I don't need to be jealous or envious or nobody. You know, I'm happy to see you up. I don't want to see you down, especially my kids. I don't want to see you down. I'm like, God, I want to see you up. I want to see you prosperous. I'm proud of you that you went out here and you kept on seeking. You didn't give up until you got what you needed. You know, and then learning how to negotiate. Took her mama with her, you know. And that's nice. That's a beautiful thing that she trusts me to look out and check, check things out for her on the car and stuff like that. Not that I'm a mechanic, but I have been duped. <laughs> I've been going through a lot of cars, so believe me, pretty much, you know. I'm getting ready to go out here now when this car cools down, and I'm going to show, take a video of me working on this car out here. You know, $125 an hour. Yeah, right. I don't have $125 an hour. To work on the car so i'm gonna do it myself i don't have any choice so plus i need the car so i'm gonna get out here it's beautiful outside you know uh i keep hearing the voice it rains on the just and the unjust it rains on the just and the unjust the blessings fall on the just and the unjust how about that the blessings fall on the just and the unjust yeah you know and i'm not saying my daughter is unjust because like i told her when it was all said and done, I'm happy for and clapping for the car. I said, who do you think? She said, God. I said, yeah. That's where all your blessings come from. Mama went, but it was God that allowed me to go. And But you to pick that car and go through what you needed to and check out. That was God. Saved her little pennies up to get her a car. Left some of them clothes and things to, to the side to get that car. Yeah. Mama mess up sometimes. Us older people, we mess up. But then look how God blesses the young here it is my daughter's teaching me a lesson she sacrificed and put some things to side to the side and made sure she saved her money so she could get transportation that was well needed 
she was a selfish running around here trying to buy some clothes and all these type of things and shoes and not get the thing that she needed mostly and that was transportation because her job is a oh wow it's, it's over 20 something miles from my house yeah it's a good 14 miles from my house so yeah she needed transportation and God allowed her to have that and I thank God for it that blessing that he did for her I really do for her and my grandbaby because that was a high concern for me I thank God I just see my other grandbabies today and they're healthy and they were going to the store so that's beautiful you know they reach out and they call granny and so that's nice it's nice to see that them healthy and strong you know and prosperous and that they have dreams and they have goals and they have a destiny you know and, and that's a beautiful thing and like the pastor said count your blessings one by one yeah count your blessings one by one slow down and count them thank god for my grandbabies each one of them, all six of them right now six I don't know I hope it's none in the oven but yeah right now six so I thank God for each one of them and for my kids their health and their strength and for them to have jobs and be prosperous all three of my children work anybody kids that don't but I thank God that they know how to take care of themselves they know how to keep a roof over their head that's a blessing from God that's not all me but that's a blessing from God because sometimes they see it and they'll do it you know they seen me struggle they seen mama work and struggle they knew that welfare check wasn't gonna take care of everything when I was getting it now don't look for me to be ashamed of nothing because I'm gonna keep it 100 the best I can with you. I'm not gonna lie because when you lie lots of time that's what the devil loves so he could count all of them little lies you told and he gonna wait and come back with somebody and bust you out in public about it so right now now nah. now nah. And like I said, I, uh, I, I, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. And I pray that everyone else feels good. I'm getting ready to make me a sandwich, a cold cut sandwich. Eat me a little something. Drink me a little something like soda. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to get out here and mess with this car. And like I said, I'm going to film and I'm going to upload it with my little videos and stuff. Not bragging. I boast and saying that I can do more than a man can do. But I have a brother. And my brother always taught me, he called me some little dirty names, but out of all of it, he told me, fix it yourself. And so the reason I know how to work on cars, like I tell guys, especially the guys that get intimidated because I'm a female and I know how to mess with cars. You know, my brother taught me how to work on cars. He said, go do it yourself and pointed tools out to me. And my mama said, there ain't nothing that somebody can do you can't do yourself. In particular, she said, a man, but I'm not trying to knock no man. You know, I, I feel that whatever. But right now, I got to do what I got to do. And being a female, I still got to do it. I'm the head of the family right now because it's me. So it's what I got to do to maintain the car. If there's any other way and if God grant me the money to do it, then that's, I'll be it. You know, but right now he hasn't. So I've been doing for the car. And by God's grace and mercy, the car is working. Everybody said it was this, it was that, and it wasn't supposed to get up. But they fail to realize my God raises the dead. Didn't Jesus get up? Didn't they nail him to the cross? Didn't they put all of the thorns and tacks on his head and put the nails in his hands and his feet? And people, I don't know if, I never heard anybody talk about that. But when God got up, I don't believe, I've never heard anybody say he was limping. Because you know, God, well, he should have been limping. His hands should have been numb. But what did Peter say? Peter said, I seen his hands. I seen the person. He said, I seen him. He said, I know it was Jesus. Yeah, he walked around and they seen him. Mm. It makes you think about that, don't it? People talk about when you're in heaven and stuff, you won't be sick no more. But God, Jesus, when he came back, he showed him. They said you could see it, the holes in his hands. It was him. It was Jesus. Walked among them. I don't know. One of them said they seen him with the prayers and said it was the, the, you could see the holes in his hands. I'm quite sure you could because he wanted you to know that it was him that got up. Not that you seeing a vision of our spirit. That this is a this is God, this is Jesus reincarnate, walking among men. Look at me. Here I am. I was dead, but now I'm alive. That's how he does, and that's how he resurrected my car. My car was dead. Everybody counted it out. But God counted it in. That's how man does. He can count you out. And the doctors can say, No. Cancer's in the last stages. Go home and kiss your family. Kiss your kids. Pet your dog. Feed your goldfish. 
Because it's the last time you count it out. Like baseball, three strikes, you're out. You done. Ain't no more slide. Venus, what you got now? Venus and Serena. They hitting the tennis ball. No more hitting the tennis ball. You out. Yeah, no Olympic hopefuls. You out. But then God comes back and he tells you, Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Tap the doctors. He taps the athletes, you know. He taps all of them on the show and he said, uh-uh, nah. You not out until I say you out. And like that lady, I can't think of her name, but she had that song out. What she said? She said, it ain't over till God says it's over. And that's the way my life is. That's the way I'm going to live. That's going to be what I believe. It's not over till God says it's over. Doctors proclaim me, I've been dead. I've been dead. Yeah, I've been dead. So I know he's a resurrector. I hope that's a word. Resurrector. <laughs> if it's not, it is now. Resurrector. He's a resurrector. He's a doctor that's not on call because he's always around. All you got to do is just call him up. A doctor on call is going to get paid. I can't pay him. I can never pay the price. I can never give him anything that would be worthy. He don't want nothing that I give him except my giving my faith, giving my trust. But I didn't give any of that. And he let my mother give birth to me. So, hmm, make you think, don't it? Can't give him nothing. I can't give him nothing. But he can give me mercy and he can give me grace. And that's what he gives me every day. Because he woke me up this morning and he started me on my way. I was in my right mind. And I used to be out of my mind. But I was in my right mind today. Yeah. Mmm, got teeth, got eyes. Pastor said, count your blessings. He said, count your blessings. He said, count them one by one. Mmm, yeah. Got the movement of my hands and get ready to take them out here and work on this car. Got a stomach getting ready to eat. A throat so I can drink. Mmm, esophagus. Yeah, let's get real technical with that. A tongue. Yeah. All those same things so I can talk. I got my legs. I got my feet. I got movement in my feet. Yeah. Got my neck. I got my ears so I can hear, eyes so I can see, nose so I can smell, Woo! mouth so I can taste. Yeah, what the school books say, my five senses. Today I have them. Mm, sobering in my right mind. Ooh, let's count that one. Let's count that one. Mm, yeah. Mm, God is so good and he is so worthy to be praised. I love him. I love him. I love him. I love it, and it don't get no better than that. God bless you and keep you. Bye-bye.